Okay friends welcome back and in this tutorial we are just gonna paste in or just include the reference of this newly created YouTube element that we have downloaded from the bar install process and included in our element.html file and let's see whether this thing works or not. So we will write link and relation would be import since we are importing the another HTML file and then we'll put on the reference so it would be like a href and then we'll go back a directory and like bar components and this thing was in google web components for google web components out here just show you again so this thing resides in google web components and you can see out here is a google youtube component so we'll similarly have to write google and youtube okay and then again google youtube Okay, so what this basically is telling out here is to go back a directory and then it, it can reach the bar, dot co bar components folder and then in the bar components folder resides a Google YouTube folder out here, you can see out here and this inside the Google YouTube folder would be a Google HTML element, Google YouTube HTML element and this element in turn just imports a couple of more polymer, polymer libraries and has imported all those HTML properties and CSS properties as needed. So we'll just minimize all of this. Okay. So now back into the code editor. We'll, since we had already copy pasted the code, we'll try to see whether this thing works or not. So we'll run the server. server fast okay the server is now running so now we can go to localhost 3000 and okay so we now see here that a google youtube player is present but it is currently not playing so one of the things that Google YouTube player actually demands is a Google YouTube video ID and so we'll just paste in a Google YouTube video ID from any of my Google or uh, any of the YouTube videos. So I'll just go to YouTube and and I'll just paste in any of these IDs like yeah, let's just paste in open the new open this in a new tab and actually this part the part after that v is equal to is actually the part that is the id so we'll just copy that and back into the code editor we'll just paste that in and now let's refresh and see whether the thing works or not okay guys fingers crossed and Okay, so as you can see, this video actually started off its own and is totally working. So one thing more that you can do is that switch this autoplay from 1 to 0. So what this would actually do is that not let the video to actually autoplay and would just require a, a user click before the video actually goes on to play. So it will just wait for the person to click before it goes on to play. Okay, so there are a bunch of. Okay, I'll just minimize this video, and so actually there are a bunch of other things in this Google YouTube documentation which you can play around with and make this whole YouTube app even cooler. So let's just try out one. So we'll try out some other things with the other Google U Google component libraries and. And definitely subscribe to the channel and thank you.